The driver found out that you should not commit traffic infractions on I-95 if you're driving a stolen car. Quite a bit of crime activity in Flagler County last weekend. The weekend began with the recovery of a stolen vehicle from Maryland. Flagler County Sheriff Rick Staley explains the 40-year-old male driver didn't succeed in talking himself out of the crime. This was not just a stolen car. They had actually changed the VIN number and created a fictitious title. Well, they found out he couldn't fool Flagler County deputies. It was taken to the green roof end. Then a deputy noticed a suspicious vehicle parked behind a closed business with no headlights on. When the deputy left his patrol car, he could smell the strong odor of freshly burnt marijuana from the other vehicle. During that investigation, he found the driver and passenger had 770 grams of marijuana, 11 one-ounce jars of hashish, who was carrying $22,535 in cash. The man and woman in the car were arrested. Plus, there was one other instance of a person driving while under the influence of marijuana on I-95 Sunday afternoon passed out. Sheriff Staley says the deputy's action probably prevented someone from getting killed. In all, Flagler County Sheriff's Office deputies made 16 arrests this past weekend, handled 555 calls for service, and made 85 traffic stops. For Flagler's local morning news, I'm Karen Johnson. Good morning, Flagler County. I'm Rich Carroll. You're listening to Flagler's Morning News on Thursday, August 8th. With school starting next week, the Flagler School District has 11 teacher openings, including five classroom positions. However, Superintendent Lashaka Moore says they have a plan and the district is ready for the new year. The state calls weekly about our vacancies and when we did the last report of of 11 um, with five classroom, they too noticed, they were like, man, you guys are in a really good place for for this type time of year, especially um, in comparison to, to other districts. So we're in a really good place. We want to be completely staffed with our permanent staff, um, but we do have a plan for those um, classrooms that are, are currently vacant, which is the five classroom teacher positions. And we're still hiring. The first day of school is this upcoming Monday. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. Today, we're celebrating one year of serving our community with compassionate care and cutting edge medicine. Advent Health is celebrating the first anniversary of its second hospital in Flagler County. The 100 bed facility on Palm Coast Parkway opened its doors a year ago, serving almost 29,000 patients over that time, including 5,300 inpatient visits, 16,700 outpatient visits, 30,000 emergency room visits, and 1,400 surgical procedures. Advent Health built the 167 million dollar facility to meet the needs of a growing community, citing a 36% increase year over year in ER visits and a 35% increase in hospital admissions in Flagler County alone. To mark the occasion, Advent Health shared a message from President and CEO Wally De Aquino. It has been an incredible journey made possible by God's blessings, the dedication of our staff, and the trust of our patients. We have been honored to be your healthcare partner. Thank you for welcoming us into your lives. Here's to many more years of health and healing together. <laughs> Happy anniversary to Advent Health Palm Post Parkway. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Daryl Moody. The newest Flagler County Public Library is small, but its technology packs a punch. The library in Palm Coast is about 30,000 square feet. The one in Bunnell is 3,000 square feet. The new library that's part of the Nexus Center will be 12,000 square feet, but it will be high-tech and state-of-the-art. Here's Holly Albanese. You're going to have what's called an innovative lab where we can teach classes, whether it be coding clubs or use of the computer. And They could do 3D printing in there. There's a lot of things we can do. There's also going to be a podcasting room. Albanese said that the library will have a separate entrance and that people don't have to go through HHS or the main entrance to get to the library. Free for All Friday is on Fridays at 9 here on WNZF, and it's on the Flagler Radio app anytime you want to listen. Tomorrow, all the deets about the new digs. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.